Hey, what's going on? Keith from Trigger Happy. Going to take a look at a little high point carbine here tonight. Uh, not going to win any prizes for beauty or ergonomics, but certainly a serviceable little firearm for a relatively good price. You can have a lot of fun with these guns. I've shot many, many of these over the years. This one happens to be brand new. It was ordered by a customer with some specific accessories, but um, had a lot of field time with these. Don't have a lot of problems with them. Um, had a few failures to eject pretty much over any gun that I've, I've shot, um, which is probably six different, uh, these carbines over the years. I attribute that a lot to the ejection port. I think that's a problem on their pistols as well. I still think it's kind of undersized. Uh, stuff just kind of hangs up in here. There's some, there's some extra space up inside here. I just think it's a problem. Uh, they need to work on it. It is bigger than in the, uh, the the pistols, but still needs some work. As far as the gun goes, comes in three different chamberings, 9mm, 40 caliber, and 45. So you can pretty much find one that matches whatever you want out there. Um, 16 and a half inch barrel. Uh, there's no muzzle device here at the end of the barrel. Got a pretty beefy front iron sight. It's not foldable, uh, but it is removable, and it is... Uh, adjustable as well you know pretty decent uh, there is rail space here on the front directly attached to the barrel itself um, you know why would I want that I really don't know I guess you could run a flashlight or something up there but it's just kind of out of the way if you ask me rail space here on the bottom um, these come in so many different variations a lot of which come with a uh, forward grip and so you know if you want to rock that you got space there for it um, not the most ergonomic design it's a relatively hard polymer uh, there is a little bit of uh, traction here to it not great but it's not bad either um, you know so definitely serviceable uh, rear sight is a rear ghost ring um, this is removable as well this particular one that we ordered in comes with a BSA red dot again not a great red dot pretty cheap um, you know but it's it's usable you can co-witness through the iron sights and the red dot which is nice additional rail space here up front again to mount that red dot if you want to do that and like I say this is removable with some uh, allen keys not a big deal um, only comes with one magazine which kind of sucks in this nine millimeter version it's 10 rounds which again is on the weak side if you compare it to stuff from Keltec or Beretta um, you know you're, you're again you're kind of limited on firepower these are cheap though which is nice and if you have problems with your high point they always seem to send you additional magazines which is cool I think their magazine design has improved somewhat over some of their pistols of earlier years I think it's a little better than it used to be so don't have as many issues there um, the grip is quite beefy I don't know why they can't get a double stack to work in this um, and, and up that round count a little bit but you know you can see there there is a lot of plastic here but again it's not it's not horrible uh, the trigger is, it's a high point trigger. Um, it's not horrible. There's, there's some, there's some over travel to it, some bring up to it, but it's certainly not the worst trigger I've ever seen. Uh, charges here on the left side. Safety also on the left side. The magazine release is also on this side. It's kind of in an awkward place a lot of times. Um, my, my fingers are kind of short and it's hard to show you on camera here but if you take a proper grip um, I'm not quite there people with larger hands are not going to have that problem uh, stock is nice it's got a somewhat shock absorbing butt pad you'll see here um, I don't know why that's necessary on a nine millimeter one thing I've always noticed on these if you have facial hair uh, here on the cheek weld you will get all kinds of hairs stuck in here makes it uh, quite uncomfortable sometimes ripping beard hair out which kind of sucks um, price point on these is uh, anywhere from 235 or 240 for the base model 
all the way up to probably $400 if you get all the accessories, which can include um, the four grip, I'm sorry, the four pistol grip, whatever you want to call it. Um, the red dot, you can get one with a flashlight, you can get one with a laser, and then you can get a configuration of all numerous accessories, and that's the one that's going to probably run the most. It's going to be south of 400, 380, whatever. I don't know. I don't keep up on the prices too much, but um, you know, reliable, fun little gun. That's the thing for the base model again at 240, 250 for a brand new carbine. You're going to have a ton of fun with these things. Um, we have shot these for years, and just every time we do, we just really enjoy ourselves and have a great time. Again, this is the limitation right here, in my opinion. If this was 20 rounds or 30 rounds, boy, what a blast it would be. But you're constantly trying to fumble with magazines and stuff. Um, you know, they just, it's a limitation. Uh, again, if you're looking for something to just go out and enjoy yourself, I don't think you can go wrong. The 9mm version seems to be the most popular and is my favorite just because it's interchangeable with all my other handguns in caliber. So check it out. Have a good time. That's what this gun's made for. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.